Hello, Wondrous Ones. Welcome to Peak of the Week. I'm Sharon G of Slushbox, and here I am with my partner and everything. Mark Wheeler, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. The Peak of the Week. We take a peek into the books that have inspired us and that continue to inspire us. And we got a really good one now, don't we? Yes, we do have one now, <laughs> right now. And let me show it to you. <laughs> it's The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Mm -hmm. And I am reading from chapter Moving Deeply into the Now. And I'm on page 61. Great. All negativity is caused by an accumulation of psychological time and denial of the present. Now, let me read that again. All negativity is caused by an accumulation of psychological time and denial of the present. <laughs> Whoa. Unease, anxiety, tension, stress, worry, all forms of fear are caused by too much future and not enough presence. Guilt, regret, resentment, grievances, sadness, bitterness, all and all and all forms of non-forgiveness are caused by too much past and not enough presence. Mm. Most people find it difficult to believe that a state of consciousness totally free of all negativity is possible. And yet, this is the liberated state to which all spiritual teachings point. It is the promise of salvation, not in an illusionary future, but right here and right now. Hmm. Hi. Hi. <laughs> we are in the now. Yes, we are. Mm. We are. That, that's loaded. That's like, it seems like it's a thesis for this book. Isn't it just a, like, an amazing <laughs> excerpt out of a book that is, how, how many pages is, is this book? It's, it's 236 pages of text, and this one paragraph says mm. so much. It's really incredible. Why did you pick that? I picked it because not only does it does it have ideas about presence and, and the different forms of fear and and the ways in which we are are moving around in this world, but it also is such a wonderful passage of what the now really is and what it can really be. What, 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 what the now can really be. Which part in specific? Like, could the now really be? Or the salvation? Well, no, it, the, the, the idea mm -hmm. of mo most people find it difficult to believe that the state of consciousness is totally free of all negativity is possible. I mean, that, that really sets up a wonderful you know, inspiration, if you will, of being in the now. Yeah, what, what, what about you? Do you? Does it bring up anything in you? Well, I just hear a lot of what the now is not. It's the now is not anxiety. It's not negativity or unease. It's not regret. Mm -hmm. It's amazing that... All of those things mean we are somewhere outside of the now. That is amazing. Are you talking about all, all those spaces that you just said? Mm -hmm. Those are all on the outside, but the point and, and the idea is to be in the now. Yeah. 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 I feel like the passage didn't really say exactly how to be in it, but mm -hmm. it is saying these things that are... A sign of course correcting or something. Course correcting is a is a great way to mm -hmm. put it. I, I think in my life I've 
you know, the, the, the course corrections are catching myself not being in the now. Mm -hmm. catching, catching, my, catching myself thinking about future tense and having anxiety. Oh. And mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. those, those aspects, um, I feel like, like are, are always, always, always around, but recognize, recognizing them is, is so great. Because because if we can if we can recognize the the now and and be able to bring ourselves to it, it is such a wonderful relief of anxiety. Because once we fall in, once I fall into the now, mm -hmm. I'm free. You just ex brought that. You exhibited that great. Yeah. The awareness, like sometimes it's like right now to realize the now is like, we're here talking with you. We're here in our studio. We're here breathing in our studio. We're here looking at a book in the studio. It's such a great thing. We could be anxious like, how many people are going to watch this? Um, Am I going to say the what right about, thing? <laughs> why haven't we done this um, series for the last several months? All this stuff, no, it's, it's like... That being here, we are doing it. We're here together. We mm -hmm. have a great book to share. You picked out a great excerpt. Be here now and share it. And that's what we're doing. Thank you for let's be in the now mm -hmm. together. Yes. <clears throat> Thank you for being in the now. Yes. Wonderful. Thanks all of you for being here as we peek into our favorite books for peak of the week. If you'd like to learn more about us, and our projects, you can find us at slushbox.net. We'd love to see you there. It's been under construction. There's some newness going on there, so go check it out. Slushbox.net. We will put it in the, the description. And there's a few other things. Let's see. Oh, save the date. August 10th. August 10th. Save the date for a special announcement show that will be in Long Beach, California. And it will also be live streamed. So keep your ear to the street and we will let you know more as we keep building out our channel also. Check out everything about us at Slushbox Live, which is on YouTube. All right, Wondrous Ones, Sharon G and Mark Wheeler are signing off. And we look forward to seeing you again on another episode. Bye-bye.